We open the next part of my Paramount Communications VHS collection, Paramount Communications era of Paramount, with the first five cinematic adventures of the Starship Enterprise. This is Star Trek, the motion picture, special longer version. Again, as noted by um, my Gulf Western VHS collection video, this is the ABC TV edit. The film? Sticker label. Printed during the seventh week of 1995. Star Trek II, The Wrath of Khan follows this. 1180 being the number. Of course, Star Trek The Motion Picture was numbered 8858. As you couldn't notice. Archvillain Khan returns to send a daily trap for Kirk, apparently. This is the only tape in this that has the format screen for the Paramount logo. Printed during the sixth week of 1995. Star Trek Three: The Search for Spock, which I also have the 1985 VHS of. Kirk must battle the Klingons to protect the Genesis planet and save a friend's life. Printed during the 17th week of 1993. Next, Star Trek IV, The Voyage Home. Star Trek III was... 1621. This is 1797. Can the crew of the Starship Enterprise save the Earth and its people from total destruction? Hmm. It's by now. This has printings, so we all know what this has at the end. Printed during the 17th week of 1993. Star Trek V, The Final Frontier, number 32014, no, 32044, sorry about that. The Final Frontier has a track essence in spades, according to David Anson of Newsweek. Most fans of Star Trek will disagree with that assessment. It is considered to be the worst of the original cast Star Trek movies. And Star Trek 2 is considered and 4 are considered to be the best. On the opposite side of the game. This was printed during the 33rd week of 1995. And before all five of these together and arrange the spines for them in a certain way. You get this. This cumbersome little photo of the Starship Enterprise. And if you arrange the spines another way. You get this little photo. What for packaging style for these teams? Multiple packaging style for all. 
all these tapes. Now we have Kerry Grant, Sophia Loren, in Houseboat. The movie is known for introducing the song Almost in Your Arms. And the number for this team is 5806. Printed during the 37th week of 1996, this tape is from the Columbia House Video Club. Next we have Rosemary's Baby. Release number 6831. It's one of the classics of horror movies. From Roman Polanski, who directed Chinatown after this one. I mean this to myself and put a week in your code on it of the 27th week of 1993. Off we go now to Welcome Home, Roxy Carmichael. 90C movie released through Paramount in theaters. Lease numbers 32489. This has an interesting preview list as well. It has previews for Diving In. I'm funny about love at the beginning. I believe those are the two previews. Fourteenth week of nineteen ninety one. Then the last of the Godfathers. For now. Actually for permanent. The Godfather Part 3. This is the final director's cut with additional footage. Lease number 32318. This has Sofia Coppola, who would become a notable director in role respect. Although her performance was sharply criticized by professional critics. My mom felt that this was unfair to both the film and her. The harsh criticism attended to um, the role that Sophie, the performance that Sofia Coppola gives in the film. Printed during the 34th week of 1996. Here's tape 1 and tape 2. Next is The Naked Gun Two and a Half The Smell of Fear. Actually, that's a clever marketing trick. Different poses for the different parts of this case. Release number 32365. Looks kind of left wing. <laughs> well, to serve the context, this was back when David Sucker was willing to take on people like Robert Goulet's character in the movie. And then 9 11 happened, and Zucker veered sharply to the right after that. There's a four round from Blockbuster, which Paramount was eventually called with. Release number 32365 was printed during the 15th week of 1991. Time to jump cut. Next tape is.
release number 32706. The top has been chopped off the case. Printed during the 29th week of 1992. And next. It's Breakfast at Tiffany's. Please number 6505. Nineteen ninety two release it was printed during the twentieth week of nineteen ninety four. Next is other peppers. Roman holiday. Lease number six two oh four. This Columbia House copy of Roman Holiday was printed during the 31st week of 1995. Next year's a tape I... I almost forgot. Didn't I? Was in there. The Naked Gun from the Files of Police Squad. I did a three-way case swap between them, my Mexican Spanish VHS of a Bug's Life, and The Manhattan Project. This now comes in the latter's previous rental movie case. Since it is a previous rental movie, I will show you why in a moment. This is a 1990 reprint of a tape that was originally issued in 1989. This tape is from a random video This was printed during the 8th week of 1991. I thought that it was printed during the 1st week, but it, it looks like I'm wrong. Let's see. Alright. It was a movie produced by George Pal, who directed War of the Worlds. Conquest of Space. Release number 5407. The gun is number 32100, and the Roman Holy is 6204. Master Speed. This tape is an SLP mode. It's name in a film. Printed during the 45th week of 1993. So it was originally printed circa 1992. So this is a bit of a big print. On that front, I will stop here.